Hey everybody, it's Mr. G. Welcome to this episode of Just Corvette Crazy. For those of you who follow along with my channel, you know that I recently released a video. The video is called Let's Play Guess That Noise with your host, Mr. G. In that video, we diagnosed a squeaking noise that was coming from the belt drive system at the front of the 2002 Z06. So for those of you who have not seen the video, I will link to it above and I'll also put a link in the comments for you. So if you can watch the procedure that I go through to diagnose what component in that belt drive system at the front of the engine is causing the squeaking noise. And this procedure can be used for pretty much any vehicle. So, spoiler alert. In my case, it was the drive belts. So what we're going to be doing today is replacing both belts at the front of the car to get rid of that squeaking noise. So stay tuned. Hey folks, this is Mr. G and welcome to Just Corvette Crazy. On this channel we talk about Corvettes, we fix some Corvettes, and we love to drive our Corvettes. So if you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. It really helps the channel out a lot. Thanks. All right, thanks for sticking around. So, gonna replace both belts today. Gonna be replacing the serpentine belt as well as the air conditioning belt. The belts I'm going with are OEM uh, belts from AC Delco uh, for this car. Ordered them up from Rock Auto. Had them here very, very quick, so thank you, Rock Auto. So, what I'm going to do is I am going to uh, replace these two belts and I'm going to do it in real time. So what that means is I'm going to let the camera roll while I do it. So the only time I'm actually going to stop is to kind of reposition the camera. Just to give you an idea of how long it actually takes to do this job. So again, um, the only stops that I'm going to make are the ones where I'm going to reposition the camera so that you can have a better view as I move from one belt to the other. So once I get all set up, we'll run the camera and uh, you'll have an idea of how long this project takes. So stick around. All right, so before we get started, there's a few things that you need. First of all, you need to make sure that you have a flashlight. Woo. some kind of light so that you can actually see right down inside the front of the engine to make sure that your belts are lined up properly. You will also need a couple of belts. So these are the OEMs. So from AC Delco. You're going to need a 15 millimeter socket. And you also need to make sure that you have some kind of a drawing so that you know what your belt route looks like when you go to put the new ones on. So something like this. So as you can see, both belts, I've colored them there. One is red, one is yellow. So I can easily figure out what the pattern is and I make sure that when I'm all said and done, everything is up and proper on their pulleys. So let's get started. I'll take the camera, move it down right on top of the first belt. All right, here we go. So first belt we're going to remove is the outermost belt on the system, which is uh, the serpentine belt. So on the tensioner, 15 mil and you're going to push towards the driver's side of the car to loosen off the belt. And basically pull it off like so and then let it loose and the belt is off. And then you just have to Wiggle the belt free.
take it off of the alternator. Just get a light down there so I can see. So there's not a lot of room in front of the harmonic balancer. So you just have to kind of work the belt around there. And she comes out. So now I'm going to just re reposition the camera to show you the other belt. Okay, so again, it's the same idea. 15 mils, I had to change my socket uh, because it's very, very tight in there, so I had to get a shallow socket. The lower of the pulleys is the one that is the tensioner. So there's two that kind of squeeze the belt together. The lower one is the tensioner, and again, you're going to put force towards the driver's side of the car, and then what you're going to do is you're going to slide the belt off of the top pulley, and then let her go. And then work your pulley off again, just like before. It's hard to do this with the camera here in the way. And there we go. The second belt is off. Okay, so I just did a quick comparison of the belts to make sure that the old one coming off and the new one that are going on are the same. So what we're going to do is install first the air conditioned compressor belt. So the compressor belt. So we're going to feed this in. And what you're going to do is you're going to get it on to the two big pulleys and then squeeze it in between. So down over top of the harmonic balancer. And then all the way to the back. And then what you're going to do is feed it up and over onto the air conditioning compressor. I just need to grab another light. And over top and onto the compressor all the way. And then what you want to do is get it up onto one of the pulleys.
And once you get it onto one of the pulleys, what you want to do is you want to make sure that it's sitting in its proper spot. So reposition the camera and we'll go after belt number two, which is the serpentine belt. So first thing you want to do is get it around that harmonic balancer. So past the steering rack. Line it up onto the alternator on the power steering around the idler. Okay, so we're over on to the other side. I have it just resting on the uh, alternator here so that I can. And again, these belts have a mind of their own when they're bent in the packaging. They want to go where they want to go. And for some reason, this one doesn't want to go. Go like that. 
And now all I need to do is get it up over the idler. And again, it's hard with the camera in the way. There we go. So very important to make sure that all of the ribs are in place. Where they're supposed to be. So I'm back over here at the tensioner. All right, so it's on the tensioner. It's on the harmonic balancer. We're up here on to the alternator. Power steering pump. It's a little crooked on the water pump, but I'm sure that'll straighten out as we start up the engine. All right. So let's see. I can show you what it all looks like. So we're on top of the alternator around power steering, water pump, tensioner. So everything is looking good. So what we're going to do is start her up and see how she does. Just make sure that the belts, once the engine is run, all of the belts are perfectly lined up on their pulleys, and then that's the job.
So again, you want to make sure that the belt is in all of the little ribs. So make sure that everything is sitting in completely. Everything looks really good from this side. And everything looks really good from this side. All right, there's another job done. So two new belts on the O2Z06. Both fairly easy. Do not have to remove any components to get those belts in place. The lower belt for the air conditioning unit is a little more difficult to get lined up just because it's tight quarters and it's hard to see down there. But once you get it lined up, it goes on quite easy. The serpentine belt, same thing. Once you get it lined up, it goes on quite easy. So I'm quite happy it got rid of my squeak. That squeak's been driving me crazy for the last little while. So that's all said and done. So what I'm going to do now is button it all up, put the hood down, it's a nice day outside, going to take her for a boot. So I hope this video helps. Please subscribe, really helps the channel out. So until next time, Mr. G says, keep the rubber side down everybody, take care.